Welcome to our segment on SENS. Let me show you a graphical representation of how the SENS function works in Cubase. SENS is used to route your signal to the effects channel, group channel, and ex extra output buses. Remember, for more info on effects channels and group channels, see our previous segments in this course. An extra output bus can be useful, for example, if you're recording vocals and need a second output for your singer. This is, of course, under the assumption that your sound card has enough outputs. Here you see how SENS works in Cubase SX. And here in Cubase SL. You can access the SENS panel in a few ways from the inspector, from the mixer panel. Remember, your mixer panel options are available in Cubase SX only. And thirdly, from the VST channel settings window. Here I created some effects and group tracks and added a second output bus. Click on the Sends slot and from the drop down menu, choose the appropriate destination. Bus 2. Switch on the Activate button here and adjust the Sends level slider. You can also double click and enter a numerical value or Pull down the Alt key and use the pop-up fader. Holding the Control key and clicking here will set the Sends level to 0 decibels. The second button here allows you to send the signal before or after the volume fader. If the button is on, the signal was sent before the volume fader. In the Preferences window, under VST's submenu, you have the options Mute Pre-Send when mute. If this box is checked, all pre-fader sends will be muted when you mute your audio track. The Access Editor button lets you open plugins assigned to the first slot of the channel you route your signal to. For example, if I assign double delay to the first slot of output bus 0 2, you see now we can open this plugin window by pressing the corresponding access editor button here. To disable all sends, use this button in the mixer panel. And in the VST channel settings window. The access editor button lets you open plugins assigned to the first slot of the channel you're routing your signal to. To reset all sends, use the Reset Sends button. From the Sends Display Modes drop down menu, you can choose the normal or routing modes. Under the routing mode, you have most of the same controls as you do in normal pre fader, post fader switches, the activate and deactivate button, the Send Signal Amount slider and the Routing Destination drop-down menu. Unique to this mode are Pan Controls. Pan Controls can be linked to the Channel Pan Control by activating this button. The signal on SENS 4 is routed to the Surround Sound channel. 
Double-clicking on the Surround Pan control will open the Surround Pan window. And this concludes our segment on the SENDS.